Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now for the last couple of weeks I've been riding this little cute puppy, the new NGT electric scooter. It's an incredible little bit of kit, uh, and in this video what I'm going to do is tell you all the lessons I've learned. So if you're interested in this machine, stick around and stay tuned. <laughs> OK, so what have I learned about the bike? Well, there are good and bad points, of course. So I've written them all down so I don't forget as I go along. Uh, let's start with the, uh, with the negatives, shall we? So first off, uh, just to mention about the rear brake on the bike. Little tiny wheels on these, not a great deal of traction. Uh, uh, the brakes work absolutely fine on here, but there is a problem in the wet. Just uh, watch this little uh, clip, video clip of when I rode this in the wet recently. I'm just going to try some aggressive braking here on this wet. There's nothing behind me. Seems absolutely fine. No skidding, let's try the other brake. Oh, back, <laughs> the back certainly skids. So yeah, you've got to be careful. The front brake seems to work fine, which is this brake on the right as usual. Back brake on the left, rear wheel skids quite easily if you give that a yank. So you're going to have to be careful about that riding in the wet. So that's the first problem, back wheel does lock up in the wet very easily, so something very much to be aware of. Uh, the next issue that I noted here were that the, it's got various power modes on here, uh, which, and I've used them all, but uh, I have to say the low power modes I found pretty much are useless uh, because they limit the speed that you can ride the bike at, at something like, well, depending on the mode, but around about 30 miles an hour. Uh, and I just found that a bit limiting riding it around here. Might be okay in town where you're in stop-start traffic and you want to conserve the uh, battery power, but for normal riding, the sort of thing I do, I found the top power mode was the one to use all the time, and of course that has an impact on your range. Um, so the power modes, the lower ones, I found were a bit rubbish to be fair. Uh, the next thing that uh, was a bit of an issue I found with this, because it's a scooter, one of the great things that uh, I normally say about scooters is you've got all that storage underneath the seat. But because with this, the battery is kept under the seat, you lose that storage. You do have this little hook here, which you can hang your shopping bag on, uh, which is quite handy. And there's a little storage cubby hole here as well. But uh, not having the storage under the seat is a bit of a downside as far as scooters are concerned. OK, next thing um, I noted. Oh, yeah, this is an interesting one. Insurance. I went uh, to try and get an insurance quote just to get an idea of how much one of these would cost. And I had all sorts of difficulties actually getting a quote, so I can't bring you a quote for how much this would cost. So something to check before you go ahead and buy one of these is would your insurance company insure you to ride one of these? Uh, I just uh, I couldn't find a broker that would actually give me an insurance quote for these. I don't know if it's because there's not many of them around and there's no precedent set or whatever, but insurance could be an issue. So that's another thing to be aware of. OK, next thing, and this is a small point, but it's just something I thought I'd mention. Uh, the indicators on here, when you come up to a junction, you put the indicator on as normal, it makes a noise so that you know you've got the indicator running. And it's just a hideous noise. I've got a little, uh, little video clip here again of the, of the indicator noise. Have a listen to this. And after a while, that just gets on your nerves. It being an electric bike, of course, uh, it is very quiet when you ride it. Um, but having that indicator going, bang, 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 oh, just really annoying. So that was, again, a small point, but just something that annoyed me. I wish you could turn that off. Maybe you can, I just didn't find a way of doing it. And then last but not least in the negatives, um, and this is something that is uh, true of all scooters, in traffic, I did feel a little bit <laughs> vulnerable on the bike. Um, more so on this one, because it is so stealthy, it being an electric bike, with no engine noise whatsoever. If you're in town, no one can hear you coming, so you've got to be particularly vigilant about uh, looking out when you do things like filtering. Alrighty, so much for the uh, downsides. Let's have a look at the positive points on the bike. OK, so much for all this negativity. The positive list actually is a lot longer than the negative list, so let's just run through the things that uh, surprised me in a positive way about the bike. First off, the charging of this bike. I found this brilliant to charge because, and again, I've got uh, a little video here of me charging this, you actually can take the batteries out of this bike. So you simply unlock the seat, lift the battery out, uh, you can take the battery indoors, plug her in and, and charge her up. Or, of course, you can charge the batteries in situ uh, on the bike as well. Uh, there are two batteries on the bike, one under the seat and one under the floor, uh, and you can charge them both at the same time. The bike comes with an adapter that allows you to do that. The great thing about this, the fact that you can lift the batteries out, means that you can charge them indoors. If you live in a flat or something and you, you don't want to have a, a, a cable trailing out your window to the, uh, to the curb to charge the bike, which is often an issue leveled at electric bikes, you don't have that problem with this bike. So that's fantastic. As far as I'm concerned, the lifting the battery out just makes the charging thing so much simpler. The next great thing I liked about this, uh, this very much is uh, you know, a technological bike. It's designed by guys that used to work at uh, places like Apple. And uh, the thing is incredible in terms of its, um, the electronics on board. And in particular, the app on the phone. Here's a little screenshot from the app. Uh, I think it's great. It shows you how much battery you've got left. It's, uh, it acts as kind of a theft alarm. If the bike is stolen, it'll tell you whereabouts the bike is. Uh, it gives you your range, all sorts of stuff on there. Endless hours of enjoyment playing with that. So the app integration on the, on the bike is absolutely brilliant. Really love that. 
Uh, the next great thing, and this is a big one, is the pricing of the bike. If you get the government OLEV grant, you can get the pricing uh, on this down to 3196 so three grand for a little bike like this. And the thing is, it's, once you've um, bought it, not only is it cheap to purchase, but it's cheap to run, because stuff like servicing doesn't cost much. There's only uh, the electric motor on it and brakes and stuff to look at, so it's really an inspection type service rather than oil change as you do with a normal bike. Uh, had a chat to uh, the supplier of this bike. They reckon um, every six months it's basically a 40 quid check uh, and they're not that worried about it being every six months. If you did it every eight months you're not going to uh, run out of warranty. So very cheap to uh, buy and run this bike which has got to be you know, a big thumbs up. Next thing, the range. Often something that is levelled at electric bikes so they don't have enough range. Because this has got the two batteries, this seems to do all right. Bear in mind this is, of course, a city tool. It's not something you're going to go touring on or doing long ranges on. But you can get a realistic 70 miles out of this bike. So if you're doing uh, stuff in town, that might last you a good few days between charges. So the range on it, I found, was very good. Power-wise and grunt, it is a scooter. It's analogous to, say, a 125cc scooter, that sort of power range. Think of it like that. But I found it had quite a lot of grunt, actually. I had my daughter on the back of this bike with me, and it pulled us both up the steep hill uh, here uh, quite easily. So it works fine, even, even two up. So the power of the bike, I found, was perfectly acceptable. Again, that's probably down to electronic uh, bike having great torque, but that was really good. Next thing, um, cute looks. I mean, just look at it. I think it looks great. It looks like a scooter should look. It's definitely got scooter characteristics, but I just think it's cute, particularly from the front end. I love that. Uh, weather protection, again, this is common to all scooters, but when you're sat in there it, with your legs tucked up in the front, you can get bar muffs, of course, and um, scooter blankets and stuff like that. You can ride this in all weathers and be warm and dry. Uh, another thing I noted here, great turning circle. It's very, very easy to manoeuvre around this. Allied to the great turning circle, the other thing that I mentioned here was it's super lightweight. It's got a very low centre of gravity. All the weight is in the motor, which is on the back uh, wheel here, and the batteries, of course, which are very low down. So it's super easy to move around. It's really no harder than moving around a bicycle. So if you're, a, you know, maybe a youngster or, a, you know, maybe a young girl or something with one of these, absolutely easy to move around. Nothing at all uh, to, be a, 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 to be a problem. So loads of positives with this little bike. OK, so there we go. That's my uh, summary review of the new NGT. I've really enjoyed having this. It's something completely different for me to ride. And uh, if you are in town, what an excellent way uh, to get around. I can't think of a better way of doing it, actually. Uh, really, really good. The only downsides, as I say, are the lack of storage under the seat uh, and potentially the issue with insurance. So check that out before you take the plunge. But uh, overall, I've really enjoyed uh, having the bike here. It's been an absolute hoot. Uh, alrighty, that's it for this time. I hope that was of some interest to you. If this is the first time you've seen uh, one of my videos. I don't just do bike reviews here on the Missenden Flyer, but I do anything and everything to do with motorcycles, uh, be it trips and tours at home abroad, uh, product reviews, um, I do monthly bike news, and I even do monthly live streams. If you haven't done so already, it'd be fantastic to have you hit the subscribe button below, and that way I can see you next time. Alright, until next time, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio.